There are white supremacists who believe that the most effective way to spread their loving message to the youth of today is through popular music, thus white power rap. There are a few standard genres of music that people tend to associate with white supremacists. Oi is a big one. Racist skinheads stole that shit in the 80s from the Cockney Rejects, a decidedly not racist English punk band. As a result, neo-Nazi music will always sort of sound like bands like Screwdriver or Rahawa, punk-tinged, metal-ish, garbage can, dirt music that is generally as simple as the people performing it. Also, it's worth remembering this photo. That's Toronto Mayor Rob Ford palling around with Rahoa member John Latvis. You would think the uniform would have tipped him off. But it's 2013. Punk's dead. Jay-Z releases platinum-selling albums on Korean smartphones, and people in your office ask you what twerking is. White supremacists need to keep it fresh. They need a new medium to spread their message about protecting the white race. They need hip-hop. Right out of the pen, on the wood. Stormfront is kind of the 4chan of white power shit heels. It's a message board for connecting with other dickless races where you can share your imaginary tales of white persecution and your poetry. Stormfront doesn't know how it feels about rap. A thread discussing its possible use in converting youth to the white nationalist movement goes on for 20 plus rambling pages of nonsense. Pretty much split between those condemning it as kind of antithetical to their cause and then others who just want to express themselves to some Polish dude spitting pure white fire. Currently, most white power rap is either Russian or Polish, or French. But California-based Woodpile might be the most popular white nationalist hip-hop crew owing to their association with the white prison gang, the Peckerwoods. Are you, would you be part of a, uh, a, 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 a skinhead gang? What is it? Wood. Like every neo-Nazi with a camera in their face, the members of Woodpile describe their message as white pride, not white power. But one of them always covers his face when they perform or do interviews, so it's pretty clear he's not 100% proud. To us, it's different. We're just proud. Proud to be who we are. White power rap is hardly a menace to society. Woodpile's I'm a Wood is their biggest hit. It has 56,000 views on YouTube, and it was uploaded in 2006. Mostly, it's just important that we continue to laugh at these nerds. And remember that they do exist, and shit on them constantly. I'm not gonna link to any of these videos in the description because they are all stupid, but it's pretty easy to find fascist French hip hop if you just spend 10 seconds searching for it. What do you think about white power nationalists using hip hop to Trojan horse the youth of today? Let us know in the comments and keep stomping Nazis.